Hello and welcome to my channel, Crochet and Copy. My name is Judy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely Sea Wave Table Runner. Let's get started. Here are the measurements of our Table Runner. So these are supplies we're going to be using to make our Sea Wave Table Runner. I go over them with you. The yarn I use is, I love this cotton. Super soft, super saving. It's the print. The color name is Emerald Pine. It has a number that goes with it. It's 364. And there's also a lot number, 301561. We, I got this yarn at Hobby Lobby. With Hobby Lobby, what I noticed is that they will have sometimes some different lot numbers. But the color that I use is Emerald Pine. It's just a little side fact, so you wear off. Of course, 100% cotton. We have 153 yards and it's a medium four. So that's our cotton yarn that we're going to be using and we need four of them. Okay. Now our hook is the 4.5 millimeter. We're going to be using a yarn needle. And lastly, we're going to be using a scissors. So that's it for our supplies for our project. So let's get started. I'll show you how I started. A little tip, I just take off the label, put it to the side. What I'm gonna do now is to look for the little loose end that they put. This is how I'm gonna start this project. Different times I do different way, but I look to see where they have placed the little end and the little one that's loose and I just pull on it. And there we go. And that's the end that I'm going to start with, with our project. Another thing too with working with 100% cotton yarn, they tend to shed a little bit. Okay, so you just keep that in mind when you're working with it. To get started, we're going to do a slip knot stitch. And this is how I do my slip knot stitch. If you have another method, go right ahead and use it. I take the yarn, I drape it over my two fingers, I let the yarn fall to the back. I take my hook, put it between my two fingers, I pull up a loop of yarn, and there you go, I have a little knot, and I just tighten that knot against my hook, and that's it. That's how I do my slip knot stitch. So we're going to start off by doing 52 chain, and how I hold my hook for right now is just my thumb and my finger holding it, and then the other two fingers just holding the yarn and my other thumb and finger holding where we have the little knot so we could work with it better, okay? So we're gonna do 52 chain, and a chain is simply yarn over your hook and pull through, yarn over your hook and pull through, yarn over your hook and pull through, yarn over your hook and pull through. One more time, yarn over your hook and pull through. Keep your chain loose as you go, and keep a track of how many you have because we're going to do 52. So when you finish 52, I'll meet you there. So now that's how we did our 52 chain. And that's how we look. So now bring my hook. I hold my hook the same way. I change the way I hold my yarn now. I wrap it over my pinky and I bring it up to my index finger. And that's how I'm comfortable in using it. If you have a different method, go ahead and use it. Now to start row one, because that's what we're doing. We're going to skip that first chain next to our hook. We're going to go to the second one, and we're going to put a single crochet there. And what we're going to do, we're going to use the back part of our chain to put our single crochet for row one. Okay. I know it's a little different probably from what you used to, but try it. You see it. And that's why I told you to keep the chain a little loose okay so i'll show you how to do the single crochet so remember go to the second chain and you pull up a loop two loop of yarn on your hook yarn over and you're going to pull straight across and that's it that's how you do a single crochet now we're going to chain one and the next chain right there you're going to skip it into the following chain this one right here you're going to put a single crochet. A single crochet again is go into that chain, pull up a loop of yarn, two loops of yarn on your hook, 
yarn over you're gonna pull straight across that's it that's how we do another single crochet now this is the pattern we're gonna do till we get all the way to the end of our chain that we made our 52 chain okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain one you're gonna skip the next chain and in the next chain you're gonna do a half double crochet I'll show you how to do the half yarn over go into that chain you pull up a loop of yarn you have three loops of yarn on your hook yarn over and then you're gonna pull it across all three of them at the same time and that's your half double crochet and keep in mind now this is the pattern that we're gonna do when we started with that chain one before the half double crochet so now you're gonna chain one skip the next chain yarn over you're gonna do a double crochet a double crochet is going to that chain you're gonna pull up a loop of yarn you have those three loops of yarn on your hook yarn over just pull across the first two loops there you go yarn over and you're going to pull across the following two yarn on your hook and that's it that is a double crochet and what i like about this pattern is we learn how to do different kinds of crochet stitches because you see we did single half double now we're going to do a triple but make sure you do that chain one first so a triple is you're gonna one two time wrap on your hook before you go into the next but remember with the pattern we're skipping a stitch well it's a chain now skip that chain and you go into the next chain and we're going to put the, the triple crochet there you go into it you pull up a loop of yarn you have those one, two, three, four loops of yarn on your hook, and we're gonna take off two at a time. Yarn over, pull across the first two, yarn over, pull across the following two, and you have two remaining more. So you're gonna yarn over and pull across those following two, and that's it. And you see, it's like three times we take off. So you have that triple crochet. So again, we chain one, now the next, not the next chain but remember the pattern we're skipping so this one we're going to do another triple so a triple yarn over once yarn over twice before you go into that chain and you pull up a loop and then you're going to take off loop, two loops at a time one time two time three times okay so you're going to chain one skip the following stitch or chain yarn over because now what we're going to do is we're going to do a double right there double crochet again is yarn over you go into that chain you pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull across the first two and then yarn over to complete and pull across the remaining two don't forget to chain one so now we skip the next chain yarn over go into the next one we're going to do the half double crochet and then you're just going to pull straight across all three on our hook that's it that's the half double and you chain one so we skip the next chain and we're going to do a single crochet in the following chain one skip the following chain go to the next one and you're going to single crochet right there and chain one see and that's how we look so far and that's the pattern we're going to work with and we're going to work with this pattern basically for our hold table runner i'll show you how we do it and how we get there though okay so this is the pattern we're going to follow if you need help with a written pattern 
of course I put that information in the description so check that out okay so we already chain our one so we skip that one in the next chain the following chain what we're going to do is the half double so you know how to do the half double let's do it with you and you chain one and you skip the next chain and we're going to do double in the next one and you chain one we're going to do the triple push there skip that chain following one you take off two at a time remember chain one the next one will be a triple but skip one chain use the following take off two at a time for the triple chain one and you're going to skip the next chain and we're going to double in the following so the double just take off two first and then two chain one and then you're going to half double skip that chain next chain and then the half is just continue straight across. So moving on, we chain one and now skip the next chain. And you're gonna single crochet in the following chain one and then skip the following chain. The next chain, you're just gonna single crochet. And then you chain your one so go ahead and do exactly what we did here just now to finish off I won't show you how to do the last bit so now you're just going to follow that pattern that we did but when you get to the end make sure you finish off with a single crochet in the last chain so what you're going to do is we already chain our one so you're going to skip this chain the next one will be the half double crochet and you're going to do the double crochet then you're going to do two triple and then a double a half double crochet and then you're going to have to do two single crochet with the last stitch make sure you have your single crochet and i meet you there so now i did my last single crochet in my last chain and that will give us 51 stitches that we have for row one now to start row two you turn your work and you're going to chain one so to do row two all we're going to do is just going to do one single crochet in each of our stitch from row one and the chain one the chain one space that we have we're going to consider that also a stitch okay i'm going to show you a couple of them although you know how to do the single crochet i'll show you because it's kind of a little like where do you put our stitch kind of situation so that first stitch for row two would be where we finish out with that single crochet okay so you go right in there i know it's a little hard to see but when you do it you see so just a single crochet in our first stitch. So our next stitch will be from row one where we did that chain one. So go right into it. Not We're not going to go into this space. If you want to, you could do it, but I prefer going into the actual chain one. So you pick up those two loops of yarn, all right, when we did the chain one if you could see it hopefully you could see it so go through that and that will be our second single crochet now the next stitch will be right here that's our second single crochet from row one and then remember we have that chain one space i go into the actual underneath those stitches from the chain one okay and then 
Remember each and every stitch from row one we're going to put so we could get back our 51 stitches when we complete row two okay so just go ahead and do that just put one single crochet in each of our stitch from row one to complete row two so when you get to the end of row one i'll show you what to do next okay I made it to do the last single crochet for row two you know it looks kind of funny right here when you're doing it but there is a stitch right here that we need to do and that will give us our 51 stitches for row two so go ahead and put one single crochet right there and that will give you your 51 stitches for row two so now for row three turn your work and you're going to chain one so now for row three you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch till the end of your row okay and that will also give you because we're not increasing or decreasing you will always have your 51 stitches so make sure you have that because then it will throw our pattern that we're making off so in each and every one of our stitch put one single crochet okay that was much easier than doing the other row because we're getting used to it so that made it easier for completion of row three by putting one single crochet make sure you have your 51 stitches okay now to start row four turn our work so now we're going to chain five one two three four five and keep it loose and moving forward whenever we do that chain five to start a row and you row that chain five will count as one triple and one chain okay you see as we go along so that's why we chain the five so now what we're going to do we're going to skip two stitches the first two so the first one would have been right here and the second one would have been right here okay so one two we're going to skip those and the next one the third stitch right here we're going to do a triple crochet So now we're going back into doing our wave design so now we're gonna chain one skip the next stitch and we're going to do the double crochet and this is our pattern how like I told you when we first started the pattern that we're going to do so you know the pattern will do like you follow the triple with the double and then you have the half and the single. I'll show you a couple more times so you see. So we chain that one already. So the next, we skip that stitch. The next one will be the half. Double crochet, chain one, and then you single crochet in the following two. So chain one, skip one, and the single crochet right here. And chain one. See, we're making out our pattern again so now the next one because we chain our one will be the half double crochet and then chain one will be the double crochet and remember you're skipping whenever you do that chain one you skip that stitch right underneath and since we did the double we're going to do the triple and chain one and then another triple skip that one chain one see that's the pattern that we want to follow so I'm not going to show you how to do the others till you get to the end but I tell you because we did we did the two triple already so now you're gonna we did the chain one so the next one will be the double and then you following will be the half and then you do two single crochet 
then you do half double and then you two triple and then when you get whenever we start a row we end off we started the row with the five single crochet we're also going to finish off that row with a triple so go ahead till you get to the last stitch to do and then i'll show you what to do how to do it okay okay so i chain my one and we're going to do the triple in the last stitch right here because we're skipping that one remember whenever we do that chain one we skip the stitch underneath all right so this will be our last triple and that's it and if your pattern doesn't match up double check because i know it's a little when you start to do it it takes a little bit to get used to but when you get used to it, it's just the same pattern repeat you know, for design how we do it that you have your 51 stitches because if not or you're off because you put a you put two probably two double crochet instead of a single just double check that it matches up okay so that's completion of row four now to start row five we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain five one five and remember whenever we do the five that counts for one of our triple and one of our chain okay so now for row five everything that we did for row four we're just going to follow the pattern but in reverse now so you see what i mean when i say it. so you're going to do is we're going to do a triple because the next one will be a triple but we, to keep the pattern the first two stitch we have to skip those and the pattern will work out and we'll see how it comes out so skip the first two stitch and then go into that triple and put that first triple we're going to do right here so you chain your one and then the next stitch will be the double because that was from row four chain one and then here is where it looks funny when you first start doing it because we're skipping remember so the next stitch will be right here but with the half double it comes out over here so it's right here let me open it up so you can see it all right right there that's where we're going to put that half double right there And we chain our one and now we do the single the single is in here so that's the thing with following the pattern is just trying to figure out where you put your stitches so I'm gonna show you as much as I can to help you okay but chain your one and then you skip that stitch and then you go into the single so that's it that's it for the pattern chain one remember with the half double it comes out over here it's not like right over the stitch but it's to the side if you can understand that a little bit it's to the side so you're gonna put it there okay the half double so go ahead and continue working with that pattern for row five and then when you do this one right here this will be the second to last triple to do for row five so complete right here and then i'll show you what to do when we have from the previous row or chain five because remember i told you the chain five count as our first triple and a chain one so i'll show you when you get there so continue working i won't show you how to do the others but when you did that last triple right here i'll show you what to do next okay so we follow that pattern and we got to do now our last triple for row five so how we're going to do that is I already chain my one so you're going to loop over two times and then you're going to skip one of the chain from row four and then you go to the fourth chain and you're just going to open it up like how we've been doing when we first started we use the back 
of the chain so that's what we're going to do just slide it in there so you have to pick up those two loops from the chain that we made from row four see and then pull up a loop and there you go you can see how we open it up and just complete that triple crochet and that's it and that's how it comes out when we do the pattern with that chain five when we started the row so that's the completion of row five and we have our 51 stitches remember we're not increasing or decreasing so we always have our 51 stitches to start row six turn our work and you're going to chain one and for that first stitch right there we're going to put one single crochet and remember each of our stitch count because the chain one that we do count as a stitch too so you're just going to do 51 single crochet and when you get to the last triple here basically because this is the chain five we started the row with i'll show you what to do and how to do it and how to count it okay but continue doing just one single crochet in each stitch across okay so we made it down now we have our chain five what we need to do now is to put two single crochet in our on our chain and that will give us our chain one space and our triple from row five okay so just go into that first chain on top right there you know it takes it that's why i say keep it loose because we have to open it and go underneath and make sure you have your two yarn and then you're going to pull across and just complete that single crochet so that's one because that will give you when we finish off with 49 so that would be 50 and one more chain to do right here so this will be our fourth chain from our hook so it would have been one two three and this is four right there and that's it and that will keep us with our pattern that we're working with and that will give us our 51 single crochet for row six out to start row seven you're going to turn your work chain your one and you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch okay so when you finish that and you get to the end of row six i'll meet you there so that's it we made it to the end of row seven and we did one single crochet in each of our stitch now for row eight turn our work and we're going to chain our one so now for that first stitch right there we're going to put a single crochet right there so you chain your one skip the next stitch and the next stitch you're going to single crochet and you're going to chain your one and then you half double you know you skip that stitch you half double in the next and you chain your one so as you see now we're doing what we did like for row one we're doing for row eight because we're doing the opposite of what we did for row four and row five so you're going to follow the pattern of you chain your one you skip the stitch underneath and then because that was the half you do the double you do your three triple and then you do the double and then you do your half and then your single so keep on working with that pattern it's the same thing we did for row one so keep on doing it till you get to the end of the row and i'll show you what to do next so we made it to the end of row eight so we have one more stitch to do and that will be our single crochet and that will be the completion of row eight and a hint too is whatever we start a row with because we started row eight with a single crochet we finish off with a single crochet the same thing with the previous row what we do the the wave stitch 
You start with a triple, you end off with a triple. That's just a little hint, okay? To start row nine, we turn our work and we chain our one. So now we're going to put a single crochet in our first single crochet, chain your one. In the next single crochet, we're going to put a single crochet and chain your one. And in that half double, we're going to put a half double. Okay, so you see the pattern, how we're doing it is just by chaining that makes that we would skip that stitch and the following stitch we do the half the double right here because we did the half right here so now this will be our double and then chain your one skip the next stitch and go into the next stitch that will be a triple and you put a triple so that's how you just follow that the triple with the triple the double the half the single single so I have that last single crochet right here, and then this will be the end of row nine. So that's it for our rows of repeat that I show you how to do, because the following rows is just repeat what we did. So now when you start row 10, you will repeat row two, row 11, row three, row 12, row four, and you repeat so it's row two to row nine. You're going to be repeating, 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 repeating. So you get up to all the row, way to row 145. And when you get to rows 145, you stop with the pattern of using up to row nine. So and then the following rows now, you will have 46 to 52, only repeat up to row eight. And that we stop at row eight. Okay, with the pattern, because it would give you this right here, because we want to finish off with what we started off that lines up with row one when we started. So stop at row eight. That will make you up to go to 152. Jot down where you're at, keep a track of it. And when you get there, I'll show you what to do next. So that's row 152. And that's row eight. Yeah, so we made it up to 152 rows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we did good work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, pull up a nice little tail because we're going to tuck it in. I'm going to grab my scissors and cut it off, and then I'll show you how to weave it in. All right, because remember when I showed you, when I told you that we finish off at row 152? It gives us that same design that we started with, okay? So just go ahead and pull on it so it tightens up. And I attached my yarn needle already. So now we're just going to hide it so it doesn't show, okay? So I wanted to show you how to actually do it and how to weave in the ends. So I couldn't get all of the table runner in this shot that I'm doing for the tutorial, okay? So you're aware of that. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the side. And we're just going to hide it underneath the stitches, okay? That's all we're going to do. And a couple of times, so it stays in. So I go this way, and then I'm going to go back the other way. So I just like to go back and forth a couple of times to make sure that it stays. All right, and you feel comfortable with it. So I think that's good. I think it's going to stay. I grab my scissors and cut off that end. And that's how it looks when we tuck it in. That's it. We're all finished. I think we did awesome work. I love how the wave stitch make our table runner look so beautiful. You did awesome work. And thank you for watching. And I enjoy showing you how to make it. Till next time. Bye-bye.